the Asai High Futurity Stakes is next. There's another Group 2. No, sorry, it's not, not another Group 2 at all. It's a Group 1. I'm going to say it's another two-year-old race. But it's a Group 1 this time. Blitz at the top four. Joshua Sutherland going for a fourth win on the trot. El Paso and Attack. Vinnie Gerard. Angel of Death. Leon Van Rensburg. House of Trapanga for Darren Thompson going for a third win on the trot. Scottish Princess Derek Hinton and Trapanga Wrist for Darren Thompson. So a third of just six, but plenty of previous winners in it. And ready to go. And away we go. A little bit slow to go was El Paso and Attack. But the two Darren Thompson horses were the quickest out, although we're now virtually all in a line, although now Angel of Death has probably just gone on. And Angel of Death now has taken the race by the scruff of the neck and has decided to set the pace to the race. El Paso an attack for Vinnie Gerard is second. Maybe his jockeys have been given different instructions to last week, but they all seem to come with a late rattle that was just that little bit too late and they never quite got there. This time I was taking much closer order than usual, but it's Angel of Death in front, El Paso attack second, Blitzer is third, then Scottish Princess is four, the two Darren Thompson horses, the two Trapanga horses, House of and Risk are the back two, but it's Angel of Death who's clearing the lead by four lengths to El Paso attack and Blitzer, then Scottish Princess is going to try and get up the inside, House of Trapanga and Trapanga Risk are probably going to try and challenge around the outside, but at the moment Angel of Death is clear and comfortably in front by a good three lengths to El Paso attack in second, Blitzer on the inside of that one. Scottish Princess is just beginning to drop back a little bit as the Darren Thompson pair go past, but Angel of Death is now being joined by Blitzer and El Paso Latang. Here comes House of Trapanga around the outside, two furlongs to go, and Angel of Death kicks on for home. Blitzer immediately goes with him. House of Trapanga's trying to get going. El Paso Latang is now in overdrive as Fordham with a big chance at the moment. Still trying to run on his Trapanga wrist as a furlong to go, and it's Angel of Death from Blitzer. Blitzer's just about hit the front. Here comes El Paso Latang. Blitzer and El Paso Latang then from House of Trapanga. Blitzer and El Paso Latang in a ding dong as they race up towards. Line, pick them whatever you like. Pick whichever one you like out of that too. I'm not sure. Hang on, I'd probably give it to the one on the far side. Which I think is Vinnie Gerrard's. Well, it's close. I think he'll pass over the tack one. I've just got that. Let's take a look. It's a short end win for El Paso attack for Vinny Gerard. Blitz a second for Joshua Sutherland. House of Trapanga for Darren Thompson was third. And Trapanga risk for Darren Thompson again was fourth with Angel of Death for Leon Van Rensburg in fifth. And that means there that Vinny Gerard has now pulled it back to just one. The situation at the top of the Trainers' Championship is that John Morgan's now got 52 wins for the season. Vinny Gerard's now got 51. And there's still two days and a couple of races to go to third place trainer Dan Hughes is way back in 37. Well, I say the third place, third place trainer is now a tie with Joshua Sutherland who's also got 37 as well.